are those the kind of people that are you saying that lessons could be learned from yeah yeah actually you can learn from people like that um racism is a part of those people and mm -hmm. it's a terrible part of those people but there are other parts of those people as well um we learn uh, an incredible amount from malcolm x and he was terribly racist there you go i mean he was so as you know huey p newton or you know any of the other great black leaders of the 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 actual civil rights movement or the revivalist movement that came afterwards uh, yeah, I mean, there are good and bad aspects of every society mm -hmm. and every person. And I think that uh, the, the racism card gets pulled against the white community maybe more so than it possibly should or probably should. Uh, we're seen as racist, like we said before with, you know, Archie Bunker and George Jefferson, two characters of very similar shows, both equally racist. One both played the laugh tracks, but yet one is seen as being incredibly offensive now looking back, and the other one is still hilarious. Uh, so, I mean, it's just, it's, it's this community that we talk about, this white community, this black community. It's, uh, it's, it's all changing, mm. and I don't think it's ever going to be the same way that it was ever again, mm. ever, for any, anybody. I, uh... We're we're getting down to the last um, the last few minutes of the show. I have a message that I want to express to everyone out there. And I want you all to please um, listen carefully to me uh, when I say this. We have. We've covered so far in this month of October, Race Relations Awareness Month, we've covered three different races. We've covered the African-American community, we've covered the Latino community, and tonight, as you know, we have covered the white community. One of the things that these past three weeks have taught me is that Every single race of people has their problems. No matter how much you try to mask it, to cover it, no matter how much you try to act as if those problems don't exist. And in regards to tonight's topic uh, for in regards to the white community, I can tell you that uh, it is probably no secret that some people probably looked at this show uh, with a little disdain because I am a black broadcaster covering white people. <sighs> um, the decision to do this show um, did not come easy for me. I had to do a lot of thinking about it. And I want to try to leave everyone from this show, regardless. Uh, I know we've probably had some some moments of anger, some moments of reflection, moments of sadness, and probably moments of happiness. Uh, next week, we're going to have an all-inclusive conversation about race. It won't just be one specific group of people, but we're going to include everyone on our neck on our show next week. So before we go into the all inclusive one, I want to touch base on these past three weeks that we have had covering the black, the Latino and the white community. Regardless of what you may have viewed of tonight's show, uh, the late night with Ed Moore, the third show, we include everybody. And as we said in our mission statement, we extend a hand to all human beings. Every single one. As an African-American uh, in this country, I refuse to live my life uh, angry. 
I refuse to I refuse to allow the past to control my present and to control my future. I am not going to hold a grudge and I'm not going to be upset at the white community for what has happened. Uh, images and pictures from our past do speak a lot. But for some reason, a part of me just refused to categorize or place an entire group of people in one box because of what has happened in the past. What I'm looking at on television, just because I'm seeing a white person with a sheet on their head with a KKK sign over their chest, that has nothing to do with the white person that might be sitting next to me who has done nothing to me. I am not going to live a life of anger. I am not going to live a life of revenge. I just I refuse to live my life like that. I refuse to live my life like that because God cannot bless a prejudiced heart. And that goes for anyone out there, whether you're black, Latino, Native American, Asian. God cannot bless a prejudiced heart. And I'm here to tell you on this night that... I, Ed Moore the Third, am not prejudiced against anyone. I don't care what happened in the past. I don't care what happened in the past. For me, it's more so about understanding what happened in the past and trying to make a better future. And that's something that all of us, we all have to work together. We all have to pull together and we all have to say, you know what? Our past is a little icky. It's not so good. It's not the, it's not the best thing. It's, it's not a commendable past. But you know what? We can work together. Blacks can work with whites. Whites can work with blacks. Blacks can work with Asians. Asians can work with, with whites. Hispanics can work with Native Americans. Native Americans can work with Hispanics. Because as long as we separate ourselves in this idea that, ugh, there they go again, or, oh, I don't want to be around them because of this or because of that, that's when the divide starts. And we teach unity on this show we don't teach division and that is why i wanted to use this tonight as a platform i really wanted to hear what the majority of our country had to say because i always felt like that was the missing piece of the puzzle of racism and i have no regrets about doing tonight's show I have no regrets about doing any show that we do here at the Late Night with Aim with the Third Show because we do it with intent and with purpose. And I am glad that we have done this. I have a better understanding, and I hope that someone else out there has a better understanding as well. And I'm glad that all of you came tonight and that you were honest and that you said what needed to be said. And it wasn't a matter of trying to be politically correct. And so I thank you. I thank all of you. And this has been. I'm glad that we've done this. And I hope everyone out there knows that uh, this entire month, our focus has been nothing but change. That's all. And in order to enact change, you have to include everyone. Not just people who look like you. And although none of you all in the room look like me, you 
all in some way, shape or form helped to bring about change in one way or another. And that's all this show is about. That's all we try to do. And love one another, respect one another, and understand that every individual, every human being, every form of life has the right to be on this earth because God put them here. God gave you permission to be here. You're here. God gave them permission to be here. They're here. God gave permission for every single one of us. Blacks, whites, Hispanics, Asians, Arabians, Europeans, Africans, North Americans, South Americans, Barcelonians. He gave all of us permission to be here. And we are here. So with that being said, go forth, be blessed, and know that you belong here, regardless of the color of your skin, because you are here. And we all deserve to live in a better world. And we must work together in order to achieve that. I thank you all so much.